Hundreds of thousands of DTE customers remain without power tonight. Thank you for staying with us this Friday. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Mike Duffy. One of those in the dark, the Dearborn Heights Police Department. They shouldn't be able to continue answering calls from the community, but thankfully they can. And it's all thanks to one piece of equipment they say is the only one of its kind in Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Germer takes us to Dearborn Heights to learn what it is. No power here at Dearborn Heights Police Department is a worst case scenario. The police chief tells me that they wouldn't be able to operate if it wasn't for this. Our police department is without power right now. Dearborn Heights Police Chief Jared Hart tells me Wednesday evening's heavy ice left his police department in the dark with many of us. They were able to operate using their generator until that started having issues Friday morning. Now we've lost our internet connections. Uh, just recently, we lost our phones and our communication center. With no communication center, they've been forwarding emergency 911 calls to the Dearborn United Dispatch Center. But and the non emergency numbers are going unanswered. So that's unacceptable in 2023. Thankfully, they have a solution. This AT&T FirstNet unit, which Hart says he called in earlier this week just in case and is the only one of its kind in Michigan. And what this uh, uh, cell on wheels is doing for us, it's throwing a 5G signal. Officers are also equipped with FirstNet phones. As you can see here on this Facebook post, they've published their FirstNet numbers online so Dearborn Heights residents can still reach them. Right now, the dispatchers, which are on the other side of this building, are able to communicate uh, on this first net phone right here. Essentially, this unit is the difference between residents being able to or not being able to speak with their police department and fire dispatch center. In the future, units like this may also save city communication. If we lose a cell tower here, that's going to be it. That's what's going to be run in our community. Reporting in Dearborn Heights, Sarah Grimmer for 7 Action News.